after 8 and we're still at the truck. Pretty much just took the morning off, which I hate. But it is what it is. We were pretty beat last night and just needed needed the rest, needed a chill morning. I don't know. I've been up glassing a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty smoky. You can't see too much. But we're gonna go on a little bow hike here in a few minutes after we finish breakfast. Anyways, we'll catch you on the mountain. We're hiking. It's hot. I don't really think they're elk here, but just don't want to give up my ground if there's something willing to talk. So a few soft cow calls and we'll move along. It's ear been eerily quiet. Can't believe it was three days ago when we saw our last elk, including that sweet bull. I always want to learn more about elk and understand what causes these shifts. Like we were at least here in night bugles last weekend. I talked to some hunters this morning that were here in bugles earlier in the week and then just nothing. And there's been fewer people, so I'm not sure what it is. The moon's better as far as it's smaller, so it's not as light at night. They should be out a little earlier, active a little more. We're not packing in this time. <laughs> we have day packs. Alicia did some math on the way over here last night. And uh, if you add up the amount of days we packed for, each time we packed in, and the amount of nights we spent each time, I think the total was we packed for nine, spent two. And I don't regret spending two, but it's a lot of work packing all that extra weight just to come right back out. Um, you pack it in, you put forth the effort early in hopes that you're going to spend a few days and, and just hunt from there in better country, but it hasn't been working out that way for us this week. We will figure it out at some point and we will we will figure out what works best for us, and it doesn't mean we'll get into elk every day, but we certainly need to be finding ways to get into them more often because we want to be more efficient and more consistent with notching our tags, and we're not there yet. Just what it is. We'll get there. We're motivated, dedicated, inspirated. Hot camera woman says yes. <laughs> You know I not love big dogs as much as anybody, but I gotta say, I'm kind of growing an affinity for corgis. <laughs> They're kind of cool little dogs. They're kind of funny looking, kind of cute. I think they have a big personality, which I like, and uh, I feel like they're rugged, tough dogs. I think corgis would be easy to have too. Don't take up a lot of space. You could put, throw them in the tent when you're backpacking. Do you have to throw them? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> Anyways, it's a dog news for today. <laughs> All right, let's get up here, finish our bow hike. That's such a cliche word. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it has sucked the last couple days. Uh, there isn't much we want more than to experience elk encounters ourselves, but also to get some awesome footage for you guys. And it, there hasn't been a whole lot. I mean, even half the elk we saw, which were from opening weekend, it was too quick to even get on film. But I can't say it enough. Thank you for watching. We are putting work in. We are trying to make it happen. We're trying to make it as exciting as possible along the way. But also, this is what it is, you know? 
if it was easy, there'd be way too many people in the woods. <laughs> There's enough as it is. You know, if you guys appreciate <laughs> the effort we're putting in, not only to hunt, but to capture it on film and share it with you, please hit that like button. And again, for those of you, maybe you've seen a few of our videos, haven't hit that subscribe button yet. If you like what we're doing, we're only doing more and we're only doing better. So please subscribe and uh, feel free to drop us a comment later. <laughs> Couple things. First, I meant to do this, I think it was two days ago. My cousin Brian, who's been hunting his home state of Oregon his whole life. I don't know how many elk he's killed, but probably more than most. And he started putting in out of state and finally drew a tag this year. And he went over there for the first time. And on his second night, he smacked a dandy of a six point bull. In fact, we'll show you a pic of that right now. He deserves it, and I'm so stoked for him. So congrats, Brian, man. I was so stoked to see that random text in the middle of the night when I thought we had no service. You deserve it, and I imagine you'll be going back as many years as possible. It also makes me thankful that Alicia and I started buying points in Wyoming and Montana several years ago. So we've got hunts coming up soon. We're not sure when we're gonna start applying for tags, but it's gonna be pretty soon. Another thing I was just thinking about, I'm not like, I'm not down about the elk hunting. I'm disappointed. I wish we were in more elk. I wish we were able to find them. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of smoke over here. And there is a ton of people that are having some real shitty days. Some have lost their lives. Others have lost everything else. Our thoughts, our thoughts go out to them. And I'm really thankful that we get to be out here enjoying this. Um, so yeah, just gonna enjoy the time, keep trying to find elk, but make sure we're recognizing how amazing it is we get to be out here. We were planning on hiking up another half mile or a mile to get our eyes on a little more of this country, but uh, the smoke has rolled in so thick, we're not gonna be able to see what we wanted to see. But on that note, I've seen enough. This is awesome country. It's the kind when I'm, when I'm looking on maps, I'm always looking for country like this. And uh, I can't believe we haven't been here yet. That's crazy, but we're here now and we'll be back someday. I don't know if it'll be this season, probably not, because we've got other plans, but we'll be back here, we'll hunt here, we'll see elk here, we'll go after elk here, we'll kill an elk here. But uh, it's dead today, so <laughs> it's not gonna be today. And we're gonna, we're going to a place, I know there's elk, and I'm gonna hope their behavior has changed enough that we'll be able to find them during the day. A couple more snacks, a bomb out the trail, hit the truck, hit the highway, hit the woods again. This is the hour, the darkest place, Dante's Inferno, the devil's maze, it's a good world. picked a spot. It was not the spot we came over here for, because that was loaded with people. We passed another spot on the way there that just caught my attention, 
So we checked it out on Onyx and it looked good. We drove over here and there's nobody here. We almost freaked out and just drove out of here. It doesn't feel weird, but we calmed down and decided to pack in for a night. We're loaded for a night, all we can stay is a night. It doesn't mean we're gonna stay a night, but we're not gonna stay any more than one night. I do think we'll stay tonight. It seems like a cool, cool spot. A little ways up here and a lot of country without a lot of access. I'm hoping for tonight that equals elk, but it's steep. It's really steep getting in here. We've been huffing and puffing, stop for a break. And we're gonna continue on, really hoping we can all get some elk action tonight. Folks, Oregon always leaves me questioning my ability to locate elk. Oh, I made it up here. It's awesome. Other than the smoke and the wind, there wasn't really any wind down below. And we're getting some pretty strong gusts right now. And the smoke is noticeably thicker up here. And it doesn't feel good. We have a hunt in the morning and that's it. But to make it fun, why don't you pause the video right now? Give us the likelihood for us to stay up here tonight. I do think, I do think we'll stay, we'll stay tonight. tonight. Drop us a comment. Let's make some fun out of this. <coughs> All right, I think we're, <coughs> that's not for show guys. I think we're probably gonna get out of here. Yeah, we might see you at the truck, but uh, I feel like the days the days have actually gotten progressively worse. <laughs> it's <laughs> after seeing that bull on Wednesday. As soon as we lost sight of him, things have been going downhill at a steeper grade every day. It's bad. Yeah, so we're going to get out of here. I don't know. to a spot and we're gonna hike around see if we can stumble on some elk lots of folks tooling around I can tell you that so we'll try and find a quiet pocket we'll see in the woods Sound off now. 
so hard to pinpoint them sometimes. We think we just heard another bugle not too far in this direction. Right now the wind's pretty good. But we're standing here trying to see if we can get another bugle and know which angle to take. So there's a younger sounding bull responding to the hunter, but there's still that growler we heard earlier. And Alicia uh, just heard him again, but we're not entirely sure where. We think somewhere this way. So I think we're gonna move that way. We're really, we're trying to be quiet for a couple reasons. There's enough bugling going on that if something wants to respond, it will. We don't want to call in the hunter. It's crazy to think it's been 
hours since we heard the first bugle in probably 45 minutes since we heard the last bowl. We're just not entirely sure which way the big one went. I think we're gonna sit in this meadow, see if we can hear another bugle, probably bugle ourselves to try and get a response to know where to go. It's snack time too. and you will see us succeed. I have every intention of finding out where and how to get consistent encounters with elk in Oregon during elk season. You can rest assured that we are showing you the reality of elk hunting in Oregon for a lot of people. And uh, I'd say more lows than highs this week, but thankful for the highs we did get. And, Again, thank you for those of you who have subscribed to our channel. We enjoy making these videos for you guys. Smash that notification bell too, because we have another hunt coming up at the end of this month, and you're gonna wanna watch me tag another incredible bull in Idaho. So I'm looking forward to that happening, and would like you guys to stick around and get notified. Get notified for when that series drops. All right, for now, we're out.